Oh yeah. So many trending tropicals. All the good ones. Oh my gosh, look at these Baltic blues. I have been told by Costa Farms that the exciting new uncommon and rare plants that we're seeing with trending tropicals are now going to start being at Target. They did let me know that for now, it's only going to be in the southeastern states like Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Louisiana, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Mississippi, and that these Targets will have availability through the month of January where they'll be having these trending tropicals in stock. So today I'm going to check out a few different Targets around the Charlotte area and see what trending tropicals I can find. I'm so excited. I recently went big box plant shopping before I realized that Target's carrying these awesome plants. I found a global green and I found a Baltic blue. However, I still have my eye out for a lot of plants. I would love a geogenanthus that I saw when I visited Mike in Miami. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley and as you can see, I am a crazy plant person and proud. So if that brings a smile to your face, like I always say, make sure to subscribe and we also have a really great plant community on Instagram that we would love for you to be part of. So this episode is actually being brought to you by Costa Farms. I am overjoyed that they are partnering with me on this episode. Costa Farms is a fourth generation family run company founded more than 60 years ago and does most of its growing in warm, sunny South Florida. Now, as many of you know, I've actually had the honor of visiting some of the different Costa Farms locations in Florida. First off, I visited there. Miami location, which is their headquarters, and they showed me some of the behind the scenes trending tropical collection where they actually have their own plant hunter, Mike, and he told some really cool stories about you know, traveling the world, hunting for some of these really cool plants that they have, and explaining how they test the house plants and prepare them to come to market for all of us plant lovers. And these trending tropicals represent some of the hottest house plants around, including Global Green Pothos, Monstera Peru, and Geogenanthus. I also visited their location in Orlando and I was shown around their exotic angel collection. Visiting these Costa Farms grow houses and sites have really shown me how the growers at Costa Farms are very, very passionate about plants and strive for the highest quality plants. I love how Costa Farms put together their different plant collections like Plants of Steel, which are the house plants they found to be the most durable in their testing, and Trending Tropicals, which we are shopping for today. You may not know this, but they actually have a full-time customer care team. So if you ever have a house plant question, you can reach out and get help from their experts. They post lots of ideas and inspiration on their website, YouTube, and social media channels, especially Facebook and Instagram. So again, huge thank you to Costa Farms for partnering with me on this episode and all that they do for the plant community and bringing some of these uncommon, hard to find plants to the market at an affordable rate so all of us plant lovers can enjoy them. I am so ready to go and check out some of these targets in the Charlotte area, see if I can find some of these cool trending tropicals. Let's go. Ooh, it's over here near the growing section. Wow, it looks like I mean, it's catching on that Target's having these trending tropicals um, because as you can see, like they only have a few left. They have global green, oh my gosh. That is so crazy. And I love the planters. Look at this Peperomia. I think this might be the Peperomia Quito. Um, absolutely beautiful. Look at these leaves. I love the colors. You have like the yellowish, greenish with the pink. Wow, look at that. It's so pretty. I wonder if it says what kind. Peperomia orange. So beautiful. And they have, um, they have the raven ZZs. Look at that bright green new growth. They have some more Peperomia down here. I'm so excited to check out the other targets as well. I can't get over these global green pothos. Like look how pretty those leaves are. It has like that lime green in the center. Impossible to find until recently. I just wanna take a quick two minute peek over here at their planters. Um, I am obsessed. $20, this is beautiful. I love it. Look at that one. Oh, look at the cute little face ones. 
15, 20. Wow, these huge ones. Some of them are 20, some of them are 30. Ooh, I think I'm gonna have to grab this planter. It is awesome. I love the, this one for plant stand, $45. Oh, there's some cool ones too. Look at this plant stand, gorgeous. All right, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Oh, they have all the good ones. I'm so happy and I'm really excited because I did go big box plant shopping um, the other day not realizing that these rare Costa Farm trending tropical plants are at Target. And when I went, I was really fortunate when I went big box plant shopping that I did find a global green, which of course I immediately purchased. And as you can see here, guys, they do have Baltic blue, but I um, picked one up. I was so excited I found one, but nowhere that I've seen has this one, which is Geogenanthus. Hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I am definitely going home with one of these babies. Aren't they beautiful? They are so cool. This was one of the ones that Mike showed me when I was at Costa Farms recently in Miami. And I'm so excited to see that they're finally in the Charlotte area. There's, I just love these leaves. Look at that. I love dark foliage plants and they're really kind of different looking and interesting and easy care. I'm so excited. Now it does look like some of these um, maybe were like overwatered a little bit at, at one point or maybe a little bit of, I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe they got a little cold or something like that, but they do have lots of new growth. They're still doing all right. If you pick up one of these and they have some of these kind of leaves, you just trim those off, give them, you know, some watering if they're dried out and a little bit of light and they'll be good as new. I really like these planters too. Those are nice, kind of go anywhere and they have different color options. There's an aglionema. You can tell that people are catching on that they have these at Target because at the other, the first one I went to, there were like hardly any left. None of the really uncommon ones were available besides the global green. And <laughs> these are already getting scooped up. But can I just say, look how beautiful these global greens are. So lush, so lovely. I love this plant. It's so great. And these Baltic blue, can we just say how cool these fenestrations are? Look at this brand new leaf. It's, <laughs> it's nice because it's similar to Cebu blue, different color, a little bit different leaf shape. Um, and the fact that these fenestrate so early, you don't have to wait till the leaf is crazy mature for it to fenestrate is really exciting. And then you get a whole pot of it. Uh, I, someone commented the other day that they got like a little tiny cutting of Baltic blue, I guess last year, and it was $60 and for unrooted, where look at this, it's all big, beautiful, full planters of it. So this is really exciting. Taking a quick peek at what planters they have, I will say, like, look at this. These are so nice. You could do some really cool stuff. I, I just really like modern shapes. It's, these planters are very on trend, $25. Look, I love them. They're so cool. Some other nice planters here. Let's see what we have going on here. I'm really excited for all of this new decor that Target's coming out with. It really looks super nice. Look at this cool coffee table. Look at this little plant stand, adorable. Some baskets over here. Oh, this is a whole other section. Target has some nice stuff right now. Oh. 
smell this. I love their little planters. Ooh, this location has a lot of the great planters as well. I'm so excited to see what stuff comes out for spring. Oh yeah. Let's see what we got over here. Ooh. So many trending tropicals. Oh my gosh, look at these Baltic blues. <gasps> they are so beautiful. Gosh, this is amazing. ZZ Ravens, global green up here. Ooh, there's a bunch on the other side. Oh my gosh, they have geogenesis as well. All right, we'll go over to the other side. Oh, they have the peperomias here. <gasps> so beautiful. Oh my gosh, this leaf. Oh my gosh, I love it. We have the geogenanthus, really neat leaves. Some more um, Baltic blue, really cool aglonema down here. It's exciting. As you can see, it's um, over in their gardening section or their garden section and they're still putting out all of their spring stuff so i think that's why they still have some of these in stock otherwise they would be instantly gone um, like they are in the lowes and home depots because i think people are still figuring out that they have these at target we have some more of these really cool planters guys I am back and Target definitely has some really great plants now the trending tropicals are definitely out there um, like I said it's through the end of January that they'll have availability and it's specifically in the southeastern states so I'm really excited to share my haul with you da, 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 da. so this is the plant that I picked out today they also had global green and Baltic blue this is a geogenanthus Cilias. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, but this plant I have been on the hunt for. I'm so glad I finally found one. So if you're going to Target and you're looking for these plants, go to their like gardening section. It's usually in the back and they're still putting stuff out for spring, but that's where I was finding a lot of the trending tropicals. And so I think they're kind of hidden away. So they should still have some stuff for you guys. And again, it's through January. So uh, this video will be out in time to for everyone to go and find some. This plant is amazing. Normally these dark foliage, you know, thick leafed plants do really well as house plants. Very easy care. These have beautiful, like, I don't know if the light, lighting will do it, but it has purple on the back sides of the leaves. They're just so interesting. I love that the leaves are shiny. Like I said, they're kind of like a thick texture. Just really, really cool. And the planter that it comes with is amazing. I mean, it will go with everything. And there were also some beige ones that I saw or tan planters. Um, so, you know, two different options. And then as far as care, it says bright indirect light, moderately moist soil water when surfaces dry. So I'm just gonna wait until this plant dries out, give it some good watering, um, you know, medium to bright indirect light. Great for this plant. I'm expecting it to be 
e pretty easy care. I'm thrilled because I have not been able to find any of these at the big box shops where I've been shopping. And I've had my eye out specifically for this one because Mike showed it to me when I was in Miami visiting and I couldn't wait to get my hands on it when he showed it to me. So hooray, I feel like I won the treasure hunt today. Um, and I also picked up a planter from Target, which I'm excited to share with you guys. Da -da -da! How cool is this planter? I like planters that have like funky modern shapes. I really liked the color of this terracotta pot. Um, it does have a drainage hole and it was $20. Normally when I've seen these planters, they're about 60 something dollars, 60 to hundred. So $20 for this really nice quality planter was a fine. Target had some really nice stuff. They'll probably sell out really fast because they've, I got lucky because they're just now putting their stuff out for spring. Leave a comment, let me know what plants you guys have been finding. I always love to see what you guys are finding out in the marketplace because it gives me a chance to keep an eye out. If you've been finding some cool um, trending tropicals, let me know what you guys are finding out and about. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and give us a follow on Instagram if you'd like to be part of our amazing plant community. Lastly, huge, huge thank you to Costa Farms again for all that they do for the plant community and for partnering up with me on this episode. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. You will definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.